Vicki thinks differently than other CEOs. She has a vision for the future on things that we can do better and make the environment better and the world better. She's totally committed. She's inventing science and she's driving change that will save the world. My next guest is a leader in the oil and gas industry, and that's an understatement. Joining me now is Vicki Halla, President and CEO of Occidental, which has recently announced the goal of net zero emissions in its operations by the year 2050. Is that gonna be an easy lift or a hard lift? Well, it's, it's gonna be a hard, a hard lift. This is not in any way an easy task. She's building the largest direct air carbon capture project in the world. She's literally spending $1 billion to build a plant that pulls the CO2 out of the sky, cleaning the skies. The atmosphere now has 50% more CO2 than it did in pre-industrial times. Even if you shut down emissions from every industrial site in the world, we have to do something with the CO2 in the atmosphere today. All the products that, that make our lives better produce carbon. So while carbon provides a great quality of life for us, that same carbon is going to destroy the world unless we can use it and make it become something different. We know we can convert it into diamonds. We know we can convert it into clothing. We can convert it into furniture that goes in your home. It's like taking carbon and not letting it become destructive to our planet. We felt like if we can develop the technology, make it better, make it commercially economical, then the rest of our industry will get on board. We can actually, over time, convert the old industry into something different. We've been contrarian in the way we do our business. We feel like taking this step is part of our legacy and it's going to be our legacy and it's going to be something that the rest of the world will benefit from and we're just trying to make sure that we can roll it out in a way that it's adopted more quickly around the world. What I want to do is uh, bring you the award that is the award for the boldest challenge. So Vicki Holub, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>